speak. Richard, I don't think, uh, requires any introduction to uh, this audience, but uh, I will say he's uh, almost certainly the father of the modern open source movement. Oh, no, sorry. absolutely not. <laughs> if, if I'm the father of open source, it was done by artificial insemination with stolen sperm. <laughs> I am not a supporter of open source. <laughs> I do not agree with the basic values of open source. I do not try to participate in open source activities. And when anyone refers to my work with that term, I take offense. You really shouldn't have done that. Apologies. You should have known better. And I do. And it is the, and, and I think that's actually a point that I, I'd like you to, to speak on at some length. But uh, Certainly, you're the father so of the, the modern free software. The sad thing is that most people think they're very familiar with my work, and what they think my work is, is something I don't even agree with. <laughs> Completely wrong. I founded the free software movement, a movement for computer users' freedom, freedom to control your own computing, and freedom to cooperate with other people. These are freedoms I believe every computer user is entitled to that must never be taken away. They should be inalienable rights for the user of software. That is the idea of the free software movement. Non-free software, proprietary software, keeps users divided and helpless. Divided because they're forbidden to share with anyone else and helpless because they don't have the source code so they can't control what the software does and in fact they're at the mercy of the developer who does control it. So <clears throat> a non-free program functions as an instrument of the power of its developer, power over the users. This is an unjust social system that I wish to wipe out from the world. That is the aim of the free software movement. In order for every user to have freedom, that means there must be no freedom-denying software. <laughs>